Hey guys, today I am really excited to bring you another sunscreen roundup. I am going to be giving you my reviews on 10 different Korean chemical and hybrid face sunscreens. Earlier this year, you may have seen I did a similar video where I ranked a bunch of K-beauty sunscreens. Most of them were mineral sunscreens. So I will leave that video linked below. Today we're just focusing in on the chemical sunscreens. There are two hybrid sunscreens which do contain a mineral filter, but for the most part, we're focusing on chemical sunscreens today. Before I tried Korean sunscreens, I was strictly using mineral sunscreens because I have really sensitive skin and I found that most chemical Western sunscreens just did not get along well with my skin. They would burn, they would sting, they would irritate my skin but I was so thrilled when I found that my skin actually gets along really well with most Korean chemical sunscreens because they do use different filters than what we have here in the US. So I've been having so much fun testing all these different sunscreens out and today I'm going to be ranking them from worst to best, taking into account a lot of different things, the texture and feel on the skin, how well they wear under makeup, the price point, all of that factors into my rankings. These were really tough to rank because we have a lot of great ones here today. And all these sunscreens today were gifted to me by Yes Style, so huge thank you to Yes Style for making this roundup possible. But as always, of course, all of my reviews are totally unfiltered. I'm going to share the good and the bad, all of it. If you do decide to purchase any of these, Yes Style has kindly hooked us up with an affiliate discount code. So for the next two days, you can get 15% off your order with my code YSSUNSARA15. I will have that on the screen as well as down below. That code is only valid for the next two days after this video goes live. After that, you can just use my regular code Sarah Rose to get 10% off your order. So if you want to take advantage of the 15% off, then definitely make sure to do that within the next 48 hours. And full disclosure, if you use my affiliate codes, I may earn a commission. So thank you so much in advance for your support if you do use them. So with all of that info out of the way, let's get into the sunscreens. Ranked at number 10, my least favorite here is the By Wish Trend UV Defense Moist Cream. So this has one of the thicker textures of the Roundup today. It has a pretty, pretty rich, creamy texture. Feels very moisturizing. It is glowy on the skin without being overly shiny or greasy. Unfortunately, I couldn't get past the uh, sunscreen smell. This one has that classic chemical sunscreen smell. Doesn't have any added fragrance, but it just, it smells like sunscreen. I'm sure you know what I mean. And if I even get like the tiniest bit on my lip or anywhere like near my mouth and it ends up in my mouth, I can taste it and it's so hard to get the taste out of my mouth. I also noticed that underneath makeup, this did pill somewhat and it just caused my makeup to look more textured and kind of separated. So not my favorite under makeup. Also, this is the most expensive sunscreen in this whole lineup per ounce. It's also the only one of this lineup that does sting and burn my eyes, which is usually not a problem that I run into with Korean sunscreens. So to me, this really just feels no different than the many Western chemical sunscreens that we have in the US. So I just don't see a reason to go out of your way to get this one. Definitely not the worst sunscreen I've ever tried. I mean, it is certainly usable and I think I will still use this up, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Coming in at number nine, we have a hybrid sunscreen. This is the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. And this is actually a repeat from my first K-Beauty sunscreen roundup that I did back in April. But any of the ones from that video that are either hybrid or chemical, I'm also including in this video so you can see how they stack up against other chemical sunscreens. This is actually the only sunscreen today that has a PA rating of three pluses. All of the other ones today have a PA of four pluses. So that just means that this may not have as strong of UVA coverage compared to the other sunscreens today. All of the sunscreens in this lineup are SPF 50 plus, including this one. So this one has a nice creamy, rich, moisturizing texture. Unfortunately, this one does have a tendency to pill when layered with other products. I found that this really needs to be the only skincare product on my face in order to avoid pilling which is fine because this actually does stand alone well as a moisturizer. I'm able to use this in place of moisturizer, at least in the summertime. I don't necessarily mind that, but also underneath makeup, I did find that even when I didn't get pilling, it would just kind of make my makeup look a little bit heavier than usual. So not my favorite under makeup. Also keep in mind that because this does contain titanium dioxide, it could leave a white cast, especially on deeper skin tones. I don't notice any cast on me, but then again, I have very fair skin. This is also one of the only ones in the Roundup that contains fragrance, and this does have a strong noticeable fragrance, kind of just a floral, 
perfumey scent not a bothersome scent i find it pleasant but if you're really sensitive to fragrances definitely skip this one with all that being said though the price point on this one is excellent this is actually the second lowest cost per ounce of the entire lineup today at full price on yes style this is 1370 most things on yes style are listed on sale like all the time right now the sale price on this is 9.59 so it's under ten dollars the cost per ounce with that sale price is only five dollars and 67 cents so definitely an economical option and if you don't mind all the cons that i mentioned i do think that this could be a great affordable option but there's just too many caveats for me to really recommend it so that is my number nine my number eight pick i honestly am so surprised that this one ranked so low for me because i know so many people swear by this one but to me it just kind of missed the mark so this is the isentree hyaluronic acid watery sun gel what really surprised me about this one is that this also like that by wish trend sunscreen it has that really classic chemical sunscreen smell that i don't like it's a big reason why i love korean chemical sunscreen usually is they don't have that smell so i was surprised that this one did definitely not as strong and not as off-putting as the by wish trend and this one doesn't burn around my eyes so i do appreciate that this does have a really nice lightweight gel cream texture i was expecting it to be even runnier than it is with the name watery sun gel but it's really not very runny you can see just more of your typical gel cream it blends in really quickly it is non-greasy but unfortunately i also find this to be a little bit drying on my skin it's one of the few in today's lineup that i do have to wear a moisturizer underneath even in the summertime so for that reason i just haven't really wanted to reach for it over some of these others where i can just skip moisturizer entirely i like being able to skip that step because to me like the fewer products on my face the better especially in the summertime it's also a little more expensive than some of the other korean sunscreens that i like more so I think that you can find even better for a lower price point even though I don't think this one is bad and so many people love it that it very well may be a good option for you to check out I would say this is probably best if you have oily skin if you have really oily skin and you don't mind that sunscreeny smell then you might really enjoy this one but not a personal favorite of mine at number seven and I have to say my top seven I really like all of these so really just those bottom three are the ones that I wouldn't recommend all of my top seven I think are really solid picks so I don't think you can go wrong with any of these but they do definitely have some differences that would make some better for dry skin some better for oily skin sensitive skin etc so we're going to get into all that but at number seven we have a somewhat new launch from beauty of Joseon, one of my favorite brands this is their ginseng moist sun serum and by the way we are also going to be talking about the beauty of Joseon relief sun which is their most popular or like most well-known sunscreen that one is coming up later in the video but the ginseng moist sun serum this is a really interesting sunscreen that i think a lot of people would really like it has a unique texture. A lot of these sunscreens I've been describing as a gel cream texture. This definitely has a gel consistency. It's kind of a thick gel, like it's not runny or anything, but that's what it looks like. So it kind of goes on clear. I didn't expect this product to be moisturizing enough on its own. So I do tend to wear moisturizer under this. You may not need to if you have oily skin, but I do think for me, it's just not quite moisturizing enough on its own. But this has a really elegant texture and it actually to me feels like a makeup primer. Like it kind of feels like one of those silicone makeup primers. It's a little bit smoothing on the skin. I actually really, really love the way this one wears under makeup. This gives a slight smoothing, pore blurring and mattifying effect under makeup. And I also felt like this did a really good job keeping my makeup in place. And by the end of the day, my makeup still looked really nice and smooth. It wasn't broken apart. This, I would say, really performs like a solid makeup primer to me. So the reason I'm ranking this lower is because I have found that this sometimes stings my face when I apply it. It doesn't seem to cause any lasting irritation, but right as I'm applying it, it does kind of sting sometimes. So I don't love that about it, but if I can just get past that, I really like how it wears on my skin. It does contain fragrance in the form of jasmine oil. Uh, the fragrance to me is very, very subtle, hardly noticeable to me. But if you are super sensitive, that is something to note. This also does contain alcohol. So 
maybe that is to blame for the irritation that this causes me. So I wouldn't recommend this to people with very sensitive skin, but I do think that there is a market that is going to love the sunscreen. Those of you with normal to oily skin, and especially if you wear makeup, I think you would really like this one. At number six, we have another repeat from my previous roundup, another hybrid sunscreen. This is the Purito Daily Go-To Sunscreen. I actually didn't realize in my first roundup that this was a hybrid sunscreen. I totally thought it was a chemical sunscreen because it really doesn't feel like a mineral sunscreen at all. The texture on this one I would describe as a cream, like a pretty thick cream. Feels ultra moisturizing. I think I'm going to really enjoy this one, especially in the winter when my skin gets really dry because this has some nice thickness to it. Like it feels very rich and protective to the skin. So this one is also fragrance free. There's no smell to it whatsoever. It doesn't pill on me. On my skin, it's very gentle. And the price point on this one is also one of the more affordable ones in the lineup today. So this one I really like and I would recommend this probably to those of you with really dry skin more than anything. Like I don't think you would like this if you have very oily skin or if you just don't like heavier feeling sunscreens because this one does have some weight to it. Like it feels rich. There is another Purito one coming up also that I like even more than this one. All right, so we have made it to the top five. My number five pick, this one to me is really underrated. I haven't heard much about this one, but this is the Dear Claire's All Day Airy Sunscreen. I have it ranked at number five and not higher simply because this is one of the most expensive of the group today. And I have found some that I like just as much that are cheaper per ounce. So not necessarily the best value, but if you can get this one on a really good sale, I think this is definitely worth trying out. This sunscreen has a lighter weight texture than that previous Purito sunscreen. This one definitely has more of a gel cream texture. It sinks into the skin immediately, but it does still give a slightly glowy finish. Nothing over the top, nothing greasy looking, but a little bit glowy, definitely. And even though it is really lightweight, I can get away with using this in place of moisturizer, at least in the summertime. Now, most of these I haven't tried in the winter, so... I'll have to report back and let you know if that is still the case in the winter. Probably not, I would guess. This feels a little bit too lightweight for my winter skin, I would say, but at least on me in the summertime, this totally is moisturizing enough on its own. I find the texture of the Dear Claire's very similar to the Isentree that we talked about earlier, but the Dear Claire's is not drying like the Isentree. I find this one a bit more moisturizing. This one is also fragrance-free. There's no fragrance ingredients in here. If you're really, really sensitive, this does have the slightest, almost like medical smell to it. Like it kind of smells like a doctor's office if you know what I mean. The smell is incredibly subtle. I think 99% of you probably won't even notice it, but uh, you know, it's not 100% odorless like the Purito one, for example. But this is one of those rare sunscreens that I think would work for any skin type. I think it's lightweight enough to work for oily skin. It works well for my like normal to dry skin in the summer. Curious to see how I will like it in the winter, but this is a really, really nice option. Uh, if you see it on a good sale, I would snag it, but if you are really budget conscious, stay tuned because I do have some better value options than this one. In fourth place, we have the ever popular Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun. This is still such a fantastic sunscreen. This is another repeat from my first roundup. I do believe it is ranking a little bit lower on the list than it did last time because I have found two new sunscreens that I have ranked higher than this one, but I still think this is a wonderful, wonderful sunscreen. If the Dear Claire's sunscreen sounded good to you, you would like this one too. In fact, I find these two very similar, very similar. The texture, the smell, the Beauty of Joseon also does have that sort of medical smell. Hardly noticeable to me, but somebody did point it out on my last video. They said that they didn't like the smell of this, so if you are super sensitive to that kind of like alcohol, doctor's office kind of scent, just be aware. Just like the Dear Claire's, it has a very like lightweight gel cream consistency. Feels, I mean, honestly, these two feel the same on the skin. They also have a very similar level of glow, uh, but this one is just a few dollars cheaper than the Dear Claire's. But if you are looking to save money, then you definitely want to stay and hear about my top two because those two are even more affordable than this one. In third place, Purito strikes again we have the Daily Soft Touch Sunscreen. So unlike the Daily Go-To Sunscreen, which was at number six, this one does not contain titanium dioxide, so less likely to leave a white cast on deeper skin tones. I, I do like this one even a little bit more than the Daily Go-To. This one is just a little bit less 
heavy feeling than that one, um, it, but it does still have a creamy texture and it feels moisturizing at the same time. Like more moisturizing, I would say, than the Beauty of Josen or the Dear Claire's. This one has a little more richness to it. Definitely moisturizing enough to be worn in place of moisturizer. This one is also fragrance-free, but also just completely free of any sort of smell. Like, it just smells like nothing to me. So this is good even if, if you're super, super sensitive to smells. On the bottle, they describe this one as gentle and breathable, and I think that's a great description of this product because it definitely is very gentle, very sensitive, skin-friendly, it never stings or irritates my skin, and it's very moisturizing without being too heavy or stifling. And it doesn't interfere with my makeup, so I think this is another one that would work for any skin type, especially those of you with normal to dry skin. I think you'd really love this, but I think this would be great for anyone, honestly. In second place, I am so excited about this one. This was so highly recommended to me in the comments of my last sunscreen roundup that I had to give it a try. And let me tell you, this is an outstanding sunscreen. This is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hyalu Sika Water Fit Sun Serum. This has an incredibly elegant texture with a slightly glowy finish, very similar to that of the Dear Claire's and the Beauty of Josen. Very similar sort of gel cream texture. But unlike those, this one is completely odorless, so it doesn't have that doctor's office smell. This is one of the most affordable sunscreens in the whole lineup today, but you would never guess based on the feel of this or the super nice packaging too. It comes with a pump, which most of these don't. So yeah, I love this packaging. I think it's so pretty. I find this one just hydrating enough to get away with skipping moisturizer. I do think probably in the winter this won't be quite rich enough for me to just take the place of moisturizer, but in the summertime for me, I'm able to skip moisturizer. It lays so nicely under makeup. I also feel like this one has almost like a makeup primer effect. It does actually, I feel like, kind of smooth and blur my pores a little bit, and I, I just, my makeup always looks great on top of this, so I really can't think of a single complaint with this sunscreen, and that is rare. Usually I have at least one complaint, but not, not with this one, and not with my number one either. So I'm so, so happy with this one. Thank you so much to those of you who recommended it to me. I am loving it, and I, I really think this is another one that would work amazingly for any skin type. And at number one, okay, we had some strong contenders today. I had a very hard time ranking, really, like the top seven were all amazing, but only one sunscreen beats out all the others in terms of not only performance, but also price point and that is the iUnique Centella Calming Daily Sunscreen. This is a repeat winner. This was also the winner of my last sunscreen roundup, and to me, this one is so underrated. I feel like I don't hear nearly as many people talking about this one as I do um, the Beauty of Josen, the Isntree, the Cosrx even. I think more people need to be talking about this because this is such a good sunscreen. This one does have more of a cream consistency as opposed to a gel cream, so it does feel more creamy than something like the Skin 1004 or the Beauty of Josen Relief Sun. More creamy, but it has an interesting, still lightweight, almost whipped texture that melts into the skin really quickly. I am able to skip moisturizer with this one as well. This is another one that I think would work great for any skin type oily skin, if you're looking for something more moisturizing, this is great because it's still not heavy. Not heavy at all. Not greasy. It is a little bit glowy, like most of these. Has a little bit of glow to it, but it's nothing greasy, shiny, or heavy feeling on the skin. And this one is especially amazing for sensitive skin. The first ingredient in here is Centella Asiatica. It has 49% Centella Asiatica extract, which is meant to really soothe the skin, and I can feel it. Like, when I apply this to my skin, I can just feel my skin drinking it up. It feels very soothing. Sometimes sunscreens will kind of sting when you apply them. This one does the opposite. Like, it actually soothes and calms down my skin. If I'm ever having a day where my, I can tell my skin barrier is, like, not in good shape, this is always the sunscreen that I'm going to use because I know this one is not going to further irritate my skin, and if anything, it's helping to build my skin barrier back up. It's also totally fragrance-free, has no smell whatsoever. The icing on the cake here with this one, this one also just so happens to be the most affordable of all of these, both at the sale price and full price. The cost per ounce is only $6.49. That is the lowest cost per ounce, and that's at full price. The sale price on YesStyle right now is $9.17, which would bring the cost per ounce down to $4.54 per ounce, which is by far the lowest out of all of these. So even if this weren't the most affordable, it would still be my favorite, but the fact that it is so affordable 
just, you know, it seals the deal. And it goes without saying, this also wears great under makeup. I never have any sort of pilling or weird separation with it. Just really gives a nice, smooth, hydrated base for makeup. Really, I would happily use any of the top six sunscreens from today. I think they're all wonderful, but this one is just my favorite. It's just it's just my favorite. I, I know I can always rely on it to look good on my skin. It's never going to irritate my skin. And I really think if you're looking for a good sunscreen, give this one a try. Let me know what you think. So many great sunscreens. I think this is by far the best group of sunscreens that I have reviewed so far. Like, there are so many winners here. I really think there's something for everyone. Let me know if you've tried any of these and what you thought of them, or if you have any other recommendations that you think I should try in my next roundup, let me know. Like I said, if you do decide to purchase any of these sunscreens, for the next two days you can get 15% off with this code right here, and then after that, my regular code, Sarah Rose, will get you 10% off. So let me know if you've tried any of these sunscreens, what you thought of them, or if there are any others that you think I should try next. Thank you guys so much for watching and for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do also have a Patreon and a channel membership if you would like to support my channel further. Otherwise, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye!